I'm Jonathan, bro. And what you you said, everything you said so far is correct, sir. We agree with what you said so far. This is some of the things that I want to, um, uh, it, it seems to be like a barrier, maybe a communication barrier. What the Bible is saying is godly, right? I understand if, if by way of how we were raised, especially here in America, right? We was raised on lies. We was taught all lies. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not surprising, neither is it, is it you know, contentious if you don't really agree with the Bible. You don't necessarily believe the Bible as being the truth because it was all lies taught to you about it. Right. So that's, bro, I was the same way. You should be that way. That's wisdom, brother. You understand? You said that you've been married for how long? Uh, 14, 14 years. years Let me put you on game, Justice. That's godly, brother. Right. That's godly. That's God. Is our, is our people in our communities dealing like that? Being married to the sister that they land with? No, nah, you know how we getting down in the hood, right? You see what I'm saying? That's not godly. So you put you you got these things, these ways about you, right? And you say that you 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 know you a god, right? You say that you've been married. That, that, that's a godly attribute, right? right? What are what, what are some more godly attributes? Well, I know. Give me eighty six. Psalms eighty six. Taking care of home. Right. Take care of family. Right. And taking care of your neighborhood. That's that's what work or community. Well, yeah, community. community yeah. Right. That's facts. That's true. Those are godly attributes. But is that all that that's required to that's be a god? No. Come on. So we gonna read about what's required to be a god. Now we see. We understand you've been lied to. Just like all of our people been lied to. Right. We understand that. We understand that, and we don't have access to some of the things that these other nations have, especially in poverty, to go and search out some of the histories about our people. So all we can do is reject everything but what we want to come up with ourselves. That's all we can do. That's all we left with, right? Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Uh -huh. I have said, ye are God. This is the Holy Bible. So just like you said, Justice, you are God. The Bible says ye are God. Right. The Bible says that. The Bible. But watch this, Justice, because a lot, just like being married, right? That's a godly what? Attribute. That's a godly example, right? There are other godly examples. You name taking care of your household. You name taking care of the community, right? There are, there's more that goes along with that. So the Bible says what you said. The Bible agrees with what you said. You actually agree with the Bible because it was here before you. That's right. You understand? So watch this. Read. And all of you are children of the Most High. That's how you are God. That's how. Because nobody came into existence, uh, Justice, and just knew how to be. You understand? Nobody. We're only gods by way of our God being a God, of our Father being God. That's the only way we gods. And with that justice, we were given these ways to be. And it's in your spirit. You know, naturally, it's certain things. It's certain things that our people do innately. We do naturally. You understand? We don't got it all together, right? We have to be taught. We have to learn what to, what to do. That's why when you're born, you born, your, your your mom don't just go one way, your daddy go one way, and the baby just standing there. No, somebody has to guide you, right? Until you can defend for you, you can fend for yourself. Until you can make the right decisions to say, this will kill me, this will not. This is wise, this is not. Right? Somebody, you have to be led, you have to be taught. So read that again. I have said, ye are God. So the Bible says, ye are gods. The right. Bible says that. Ain't no nation, ain't no church, ain't no religion telling us that we gods, brother. But the truth of the Bible is, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the Israelites are in fact gods. Right, that's right. That's in, in fact who you are. Not a religion, not an opinion, not an option. And with that, there are things you got to do. Watch this. This is the flip side to that. This is the flip side to that. So we gods and we children of the most it's because we're his children, right? Just like your children are a reflection of you, right? Your household is a reflection of you. Right? Your children come out, you're going to name them, you're going to teach them how to deal like you deal, or better. Right? So, exactly. So, so has our father dealt with us. Right. You understand? So has our father dealt with us. Now, if your son take it upon himself to say, yeah, that's my father, but guess what? My father is God, uh, God justice, right? So, but guess what? I'm going to act like the so-called white man. I'm going to act like, I'm going to take it upon myself to do nothing he told me to do. Nothing he raised me to do. I, I'm going I'm to lay down with a woman and I'm, I'm going to spit on her when I'm done and walk off. I'm going to cuss my mama out. I'm going to steal out my daddy wallet. That's what I'm going to do. But you taught him different, right? You taught him different. 
Watch this. This is the flip side. What's going to happen to your son if he get down like that? What you going to do? How you going to deal with that? That's what's going to happen. You're going to get your behind whoop. So let me show you what a godly behind whooping look like. Come on. Verse 7. But ye shall die like men. That's what's happening to us, Justice. That's what's happening. So the questions that's pertinent to our people today, why do we die? Why do we suffer? Right. We know we gods. It's in us. We feel it. We know it from the time we was born. We know it's something about us. That's we right. gods. We know it. That's right. That's it. Give me that in uh, Hosea 4 and 6. Give me that Hosea 4 and 6. See, brother, there's certain things that's naturally in you. Naturally in you. But I'm telling you now, brother. I'm telling you. This is a new day. The white man lies are over with, Justice. Right. They are done. So I'm telling you, brother, the Bible is your heritage. It's your history book. Ain't no more lies about to be read to you out of this book. That's right. That day is finished. That day is over. Ain't no more cooning. Ain't no more uh, 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 bowing to the white man saying, we forgive you when he ain't even said sorry yet. That day is over. We're going to show you what's real about our history. They still doing it. We still cooning. You know why? Because they, because they, we ain't got to them yet. Still bumping their head on the ground. They still doing all that. They still doing all that. Watch this. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Read that again. He said, his, because you said that, right? I'm going to show you the things that's in you, brother. You got to stop resisting the Bible. Because the Bible, the Bible is that spirit that's in you that you don't really know where it comes from. It's like something about it. This is, it comes from your father in heaven. That's where it comes from. That's right. And we ain't about to lie to that lie. The lies is over, brother. Come on. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Like you said, Justice, because we ignorant, we are destroyed. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Now, some of us take that knowledge and reject it. Some of us take that knowledge and reject it, right? That's what we do. We omit. We omit the laws of God. We omit our heritage. That's what we do. Right? And because of it, we are destroyed. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to knowledge that we're talking about here, that our people lack are the commandments of God. Watch this. I'm going to show you, Justice. Read. No, no, no. Hope to stay where you at. Read it again. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That's what the Bible is saying. Now, we just read that about our Godship. We just read that about our Lordship on the earth, didn't we? He said, ye are gods. I said that you are gods. If God say that you a God, nobody can take that from you. That's right. You can't even take that from yourself, brother. You a God whether you want to acknowledge it or not. All these black faces walking around, these are gods walking around and don't even know it. Don't even know it. And that's why we destroy it. Finish that off. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. A priest is somebody who is supposed to acknowledge. Give me knowledge. A priest is somebody that's supposed to maintain the knowledge of the people, of God's people. That's some, That's what the priest is supposed to do. You got it? Watch this. So it says, because you reject knowledge. What's that knowledge? That's that godliness about you, right? That's the things a God do, the behavior that a God has, right? So let's see what that knowledge is. Now he said, because you've rejected knowledge, you shall not be a priest to me. Earlier we just read, all of you are the sons, all of you are gods, because you are the sons of the most high God, right? But you will die like men. Why? Because we've rejected our father's knowledge. Just like you said about your son. If he reject the knowledge that you give him, which is thou shall not kill, thou shall not steal. You're going to teach your son, your son the same thing you find in this Bible. Right. The difference is you've been lied to about the Bible. Right. You've been lied to the white man. This devil has represented what you, this Bible up, up until today, brother. Up until today, you thought that that devil devil right there was who, who came who, who's, whose behalf this Bible speaks this Bible is your heritage, your history That's right. this our history brother this our record book and it's been kept from us and hid from us, we should be rejoicing today that we found out this, what, the most important book the most read book, the most the greatest book right. is our records, it's our history Teach. it's our history and you know that because it was a crime for you to know how to read once upon a time right, right What's so horrible about you knowing how to read? Watch this. Let me sh Let's get back to, 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 the, to the godliness. Let's get back to the knowledge that we lack. And in, res in, 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 uh, uh, in response to it, we're destroyed. Or because of it, we lack this knowledge. We're destroyed, right? Watch this. 
The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So our lips, because we are the ones that's supposed to be priests, right? The priest's lips. You said something, brother. You said uh, 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 you, you're married to your wife. Right. You said to take. that's a godly attribute. Take care of your house. That's another godly attribute. Take care of your community. That is a godly attribute. That's, right. that's a godly attribute. Read that again. Watch this. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read on. And they should seek the law. And they shall seek the law. They. Who is the they? Your community. Your community. Your people. Your people. Because everybody ain't down. Everybody ain't getting their knees kneeled on until they died on, t on, on uh, in the middle of the street. That ain't how, Everybody ain't suffering like our people suffer. Everybody ain't going through these things. Everybody ain't went through this here. Slavery. Everybody, only we have. Only we remain in the place that we came as slaves. We still here. Teach. We still, we are in the exact place they brought us to serve as slaves. While our mothers was raped, murdered, robbed, kept men castrated. We still in the same place. They guilty, as guilty today as they were back then. Right. We are the proof of it. Right. We are the proof of it. Watch this. Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So who should the priest be? The so-called black man, the so-called Hispanic man, the so-called Native American man, who is the Israelites. That's right. Who is the Israelites? That's who we are. We the real Jews. Right. We are the real Jews. We've been lied to all our lives. Our mothers, our fathers have been lied to. All our life, throughout history, since we came on this side of the planet as slaves, we have been getting lied to. Right. So it says the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So that knowledge that we are destroyed by, because we don't listen to it, we don't deal with it, we don't teach it, is it's, 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 it's what we're destroyed by. Those things also is what makes us a God. Those things is what make you a priest. Right? So it says the priest's lips should keep that knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So your people are supposed to seek and look to you for the knowledge of God. All over the world. When people see us, brother, when people see us, they're supposed to see gods. Right. They're supposed to see gods. Not because they know our history. They know that we was once upon a time, we was gods in the surf. No, because we are behaving ourselves like gods. Because we have the knowledge and the only ones who have understanding of the real one true God. That's right. I'm going to show you that. Give me Psalms 147. Bring it up. Give me Psalms 147. The Lord, only, the Lord only gave us knowledge, brother. Everybody can't understand this Bible. Everybody do not understand this Bible. Everybody do not. I'm going to say, every, no one but the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have the understanding or the sense of the Bible. That's right. That's right. If, that, if, if a white man is teaching you, he, has, he is lying to you. That's right. He is betraying you. Come on, watch this. Let's prove it out of the Bible. Who is the Most High dealing with? Only you blacks. That's you the only people the Most High God has given his knowledge to. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Read. He showeth his word unto Jacob. His word is the knowledge that we walked away from and are destroyed by. Come on. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He only showing his statutes and his judgments to the Israelites. Who are you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans right. in this country today? Come on. He hath not dealt so with any nation. Read that again. He hath not dealt so with any nation. The Most High God is not dealing with nobody but you so-called blacks. Right. You are the real gods on this earth. That's you right. are the real priests on this earth. You are the true Jews on this earth. That's right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.